Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to Reject Films. Back with another video for you guys. I know I just did one of these, but I got my pre-quarantine cell package in from Vinegar Syndrome. Uh, this thing just shipped out on Monday. Just got here today, Wednesday. So awesome, awesome shipping. And, uh, you know, of course, they're back up and running. They ran this cell thinking they were going to be uh, shut down for a while. But uh, they are back up and running, getting ready to do their Black Friday, or their halfway to Black Friday cell. Uh, this weekend from Friday to Sunday. So yeah, excited for that. See what they announce. I know they got a, a 4K release announcement coming and uh, I think two more uh, announcements for that. So really excited to see what they announce for the uh, halfway to Black Friday sale. And on top of that, they have already shipped me, if you guys watched my last video, a replacement cover for, I forget where I put it now, but uh, for my hard soap, hard soap, disco lady cover that was, you know, creased on the side. Um, yeah, they've already shipped me a replacement for that. So you guys are fucking awesome, Vinegar Syndrome. Um, definitely the best company to uh, to order from. Uh, take the most pride in their releases. Best customer service. Even if you guys aren't huge fans of the movies themselves, they put a lot of um, work and effort into these releases. The transfers, the slip covers, the features. Uh, everything is just top notch. If you guys haven't checked out any Vinegar Syndrome titles, I highly suggest you do so. Um, they just announced Dolly Dearest is up for a pre-order uh, a little while back. So, um, that's one of their more popular titles, you know, uh, Taming the T-Rex and they, and they got that on 4k as well. Uh, you know, if you guys haven't delved into the boutique label stuff yet, I highly suggest you start with Vinegar Syndrome, along with like Scream Factory, stuff like that. Um, but Scream Factory is probably more well-known. Um, yeah, so I just, I can't say enough good things about Vinegar Syndrome. So let's dive into this. Another package here. Um, I hear that virus is staying on cardboard for a while, so I'm definitely not going to be touching anything uh, on myself until... I wash my fucking hands after this video. Um, I did not pre-open this one. So, let's do that now. I usually do that so I don't look like a jackass trying to struggle opening this on a camera. But, uh, supposed to cut towards yourself or away from yourself? I don't know. I'm, like, half asleep right now. So, just kind of bear with me today. It's going to be... A little rough uh, video here. You know, my work is a necessity, so um, I'm still working long hours and everything. So, but they are following suit with. Uh, I know Walmart's doing it, Amazon's doing it. I'm sure other businesses are as well. We're getting, you know, extra money an hour to uh, work during this time. So, uh, that's a plus. Got some uh, padding in here. I can reuse these guys. They're not been used. That's awesome. Uh, I usually use these to put movies in inside of a box because I don't usually ship out priority uh, to save everybody money. I always do media mail. I think there's five or six titles in here that I picked up. Most of these were ones I've been uh, debating on and uh, you know they were all I believe under 20 bucks. I think these ones here were um, like 15 bucks for a couple of these, including this first one here. I went ahead and grabbed Luther the Geek, and I held off on this one for a long time. You know, they just did this last uh, Black Friday or something, and uh, I love that shiny cover. I don't know how well it's going to pick up, but uh, the teeth and the letters to the title, and even on the side, it is awesome i do have the uh what is it the 88 films release of this as well so it's another one i held off because i already had it um like usual i'll go over the features and inside art and everything i'll go ahead and pull that out there there's the art most people are familiar with i hear this is a, actually a really really good title um and wanted to get that awesome slip cover i didn't think this slip was that awesome in the photos but seeing it in person with that shine to the silver is really really cool 
another one I held off on because it just didn't seem like my kind of movie. And then I started um, watching some reviews on it and uh, d diving more into the movie um, without actually watching it. And it does sound pretty interesting. And this was another one that was like 15 bucks. And that is the telephone book. This movie looks just fucking crazy. So um, it's like part black and white, part in color. And um, of course, very sexual. There's the inside art. Doesn't look like uh, many features on this, but we'll, we'll get to that. All right, and then another one I held off on because I do have the 88 release of this as well. Uh, the slip is pretty cool in person. Another one that didn't look that great on the page, but does really have a lot of detail to it. That is pigs. Especially the back of this is really cool. Um, there's not really a lot of embossing. It is kind of like real uh, slick with the blood, where the blood is real shiny. Um, there's the inside. This is another older release. Telephone books, an older release. Luther the Geek is. Uh, we'll dive into that more, but uh, like this one here is a 2016 release um, from Vinegar Syndrome. But they just did the uh, slips for them. All right, one I missed out on, and it like sold out the first time, and then something happened. I don't know what. If you guys remember, let me know in the comments. But like the slip sold out, and then all of a sudden it was back on there, and they had a bunch. So um, that is Wonder Women. But it was getting down low again. It was getting to like 200 and something copies left with the slip. So I uh, went ahead and grabbed that. I think this was like 17 bucks on during that sale. Just the inside art. Again, I'll flip all these around. I'll probably just uh, do that with you guys. I know last time I had so many that I wanted to cut away and not bore you guys. Um, I'll try to keep it somewhat entertaining and talk to you. All right, next up we have a Hellmaster. I didn't see a lot of people grabbing this one. Uh, I've heard some kind of negative things about it that's kind of boring and stuff, but I love these cutaway slips or cutout slips, whatever you want to call them. Um, I just think they're cool, even though when you reverse the art, usually it doesn't work. This is the inside art. I know it's hard to see with the glare. And lastly, one um, that I didn't get initially because I hadn't seen the first two, but then I was... Uh, watching reviews and things like that and it's another one of those ones like extra three you don't have to watch the other ones to you know understand the movie like it has nothing to do with the other ones they just kind of stole the name so that is beyond the door three the prince of darkness is about to choose his bride Really, really awesome slip. Again, it's like real smooth and shiny on the back in the middle there. Not a lot of embossing on any of these. This is kind of embossed on there for the title. And all the slips in immaculate condition. So, here's the art inside. And we'll open these guys up and go in reverse. So we got what? One, two, three, four, five, six titles. Um... You know, most of these were 15 a piece or 17 a piece. You, you can't go wrong with that. You know, it was a kind of unnecessary sell, but, you know, I'm happy to save 20 bucks total, I think, is what it came out to. Um, and I went ahead and did the $7 priority shipping to get it here, and, like, it came in... Yeah, shipped out Monday, got here today on Wednesday, so um, better than waiting on that media mail. All right, here's your inside art. Really love the art on uh, the DVD here. That's, that's pretty sweet. I think I'll actually go with that because it's completely different than the other one. And uh, looks like it's a different title. It's a muck train. So 
It's always fascinating to see how many different titles he's had, especially when they're movies that were um, filmed overseas or something. They they title them different for different countries, whatever movie was popular at that time or something. Um, so this film is from 1989. It runs 94 minutes. Uh, of course, all these region free. Um, for those wondering about Vinegar Syndrome, all of their titles that I have seen have been region free, so uh, that's really cool. And here, this is actually a pretty good film, too. Uh, 1989 from Trihoof Investments. I, I just recently started telling you guys, like, the original company that released them, just because I, I find it interesting, like, how many companies were around in, like, the 70s and 80s, like, putting films out. Um, and, you know, 90% of them aren't around anymore, so. Uh, special features on here is a new, uh, scan in 4K, running amok, video interview with director Jeff uh, Quint Quitney, a long walk to Yugoslavia video interview with actor Bo uh, Simpson. Uh, you know, th these are like foreign names, so I'm gonna have a really hard time, especially since, like I said, I'm half asleep right now, guys. So um, it's gonna be worse than normal. Uh, video interview with cinematographer Adolfo Bartoli, reverse art and English subs, starring names I can't pronounce. Um, Here's a better look at the back without the wrap on it. I know it's glaring off of my phone, but, uh, yeah, Beyond the Door 3. I just, I just, I wish I could get a package from Vinegar Syndrome every week or a couple weeks, you know. Um, but it's becoming once a month, even though I didn't subscribe, uh, I still seem to order them. Hopefully I can, uh. Get the money to subscribe uh, next time. This is uh, release number 297, by the way. Again, I have no rhyme or reason to my videos. Sometimes I do that, sometimes I don't. Just throw them back in the box, I guess. Uh, Hellmaster. So I hope everybody's been doing well. hope everybody's been staying as safe as possible and taking uh, as many precautions as you can. I mean, it, it's it's hard to uh, do everything they tell you to do during these times. Um, I know it's just a habit to uh, rub your eyes or do whatever, you know, touch your face and all that kind of shit, but uh, all we can do is try our best, right? Uh, here's the disc art. Okay, I tried to talk a little bit during during this. Um, again, I, I'm going to have to leave it that way because it's not going to work uh, with the alternate art. But there's the inside. I probably would go with the new art uh, anyways because this, this looks... I don't I don't know. <laughs> yeah. Whatever that is. I haven't seen the movie, so... Um, like I've said before, I've only watched a few of my Vinegar Syndrome releases. One day, I'm going to start going through them just down the line alphabetically or however I have them on the shelf. Seems like my phone's, the lighting's really weird today. Um, but yeah, this has quite a few features on it. You have a new scan in 4K. Original theatrical version as Them. Uh, director's recut version as Hellmaster, which is only in standard definition, so... Uh, if you guys want to watch the 4K version, I guess you're watching the theatrical. Um, you know, it's one of those ones, it's like, do you watch both? Especially if the movie's not great. Um, I don't know. We'll see. Uh, I'll probably go with... I always like to go with the director's intended version, but a lot of times those aren't remastered because of whatever reason. I, I don't know why. Um, either the footage is just too... Uh, rough or whatever you want to say and too hard to uh, get in that 4k um, restoration I could just be talking out of my ass too I, I don't I don't really know reasons I don't uh, restore films so uh, director commentary for both versions creating reality an interview with cinematographer Michael Goy uh, conceptual artwork gallery behind the scenes still gallery Archival locations feature it. One of my favorite features on any release is those locations. Uh, reversible cover art and English subtitles directed by Douglas uh, Schlutz. 
uh, the stars uh, John Saxon, uh, David Eam, and uh, Amy, sorry, I'm terrible with names, Edward Stevens, got that one, and uh, Robert Dole. So you got John Saxon in here, you can see him on the back there, on the last picture where my finger is. Um, so Hellmaster, uh, this is from 1992, so it's a newer release for them anyways. Um, from Dolphin Productions Limited Partnership. I just put a name on anything. It's cool how there's even artwork on the inside of the cutout, like all the way in there. I know it's hard to see, but man, the detail is just fucking amazing. All right, slide that back in there. In the, in the back of it, there is a lot of detail, actually. I know it's hard to probably make out, but um, ah, it's got to be one of my favorite slips, to be honest. The amount of work they put into these is, is crazy. All right, so that was Hellmaster. Wonder Women. And you got to love that back. I can actually show because their hair's covering up her nips. But, uh, yeah, that's, that's, a, that's a fucking cover right there. Well, I guess on the front, too, is the same uh, deal there. So I'm going to guess there's probably nudity in this movie. I, I, I could be wrong, you know? Man, I'm excited to see what they announced for uh, Halfway to Black Friday. I, I'm glad I didn't spend all of my money on this uh, package here. I wanted to buy more, and I was actually going to add some merchandise to it, too, because I realized <clears throat> there was some merch that I wanted. But I held off. I was like, no, I've already spent, you know, enough. Um, I was actually going to get some stuff from the Severn sale. I ended up not getting anything. So now that money goes to Vinegar Syndrome on uh, this halfway to Black Friday. I'd rather give them my money anyways. Um, here's your disc art. I guess that is pretty close to the slip, so we will see. Like I didn't say the release number on a uh, Hellmaster. I have no, like I said, rhyme or reason to uh, what I show you guys and go over and what I don't. But uh, so here's your alternate artwork. All of the art's really, you know, '70s style. Um, it's from 1973, runs 82 minutes, so it's a pretty short film. Uh, from General Film Corporation. Again, another one I've never heard of. Uh, you do have Sid Hagen here. You have uh, Nancy Kwan, Ross Hagen, Vic Diaz, and Roberta Collins. So yeah, I started with the cast this time, just to change things up, make it a little different. All right, uh, features on here. This is directed by Robert Vincent O'Neill, by the way. Uh, I have no idea who that is. New Scan in 2K, commentary track with director Robert Vincent O'Neill, extended European version, which runs 90 minutes, so you get an extra 8 minutes. Q&A from the 2007 screening at the New York Beverly Cinema in Los Angeles with uh, Robert Vincent O'Neill, Nancy Kwan, Ross Hagen, Ra Roberta Collins, and Sid Haig. Um, theatrical trailer, multiple TV spots, promotional still gallery, verse cover art, and English subtitles. So... Quite a few features on here, and you can't go wrong with old Sid Haig, man. I, I miss that guy. Um, it's going to be weird when I start going to conventions again and he's not around. It's cause I haven't been to one since he passed away with everything that's gone on in my life and everything. Hopefully one day I can get back to going to him and have people to go with and uh, everything. But right now, it's especially right now, there is none happening. But... Uh, yeah, I definitely want to go to one soon, once everything in the world gets back to normal, per se. Alright. Oh, uh, I'll do it on that one. This is release number 241 on the spine. Alright. On to pigs. This is another one I, I've always heard is actually really good, though. So those were all um, either 2019 or 2020 releases on those. I believe they were all 
like Hellmaster might have been a 2020 and beyond. I think Wonder Woman might have been a 2019. Let's see. Um, it's going to bother me now. Uh, 2018 release on Wonder Woman, actually, from uh, Vinegar Syndrome's side. The other two are pretty new within the last few months or so. Uh, filmed by Mark Lawrence is all it says on the front. I don't know if this is even... Yeah, it does have reverse art. Uh, of course, neither one is the slip, with these being uh, newly commissioned slip covers for them. Uh, so I'm going to have three options of artwork, including the slip, which is always nice. But then again, it's hard to usually choose which one you want to roll with. All right, here's your inside. I think this is like one of their earliest releases with a uh, clear case as well. Uh, I'm going to stay with the art that's on there because this is pretty similar. This is like what's on the back of the slip. So um, I will keep it what it is. All right. Uh, special features include uh, scanned and restored in 2K. Um, feature it with actress uh, Tony Lawrence. Feature it with uh, composer Charles Bernstein. Audio interview with cinematographer Glenn Rowland. Promotional uh, artwork gallery. Alternate ex exorcism opening sequence. Alternate daddy's girl opening sequence. Alternate daddy's girl ending sequence. Uh, Pig's uh, theatrical trailer, Love Exorcism theatrical trailer, reversible cover art by Chris uh, Garofalo. See, they don't tell you who does the art on these anymore. Uh, of course, directed by Mark Lawrence, starring Mark Lawrence, Tony Lawrence, and Jesse Vent. So, um, looks really, really low budget and like a really good time. So, Pig's, I'm assuming about Killer Pig's. Or it could just be about a family that really loves bacon. I, I don't know. Either way. Um, this was originally released by Santa Monica Holdings um, in 1973. This runs 81 minutes, by the way. And it was originally... Uh, this is a, tra a trauma um, film as well. I don't know if any of the other ones were or not. I didn't notice. All right. Move on to... Uh, telephone book you notice down at the bottom it says vinegar syndrome x <clears throat> this is a story of a girl who falls in love with the world's greatest obscene phone call so it's getting a little dry yes i do uh drink more than the green monsters this is the uh what is this the mango uh loco I got it one day because I thought the can was cool with the Day of the Dead stuff, and uh, it's pretty tasty, so. It's one you gotta drink when they're pretty cold, though, or it's not great for that. All right, so this is from 1971, copyright Rosebud Releasing Corp and Rosebud Films. I don't see a release from anybody else um, owning the rights to it or anything like trauma. It's from 1971, runs 87 minutes, uh, black and white in color, like I had mentioned. Uh, your extras include audio commentary, producer Merv Block, theatrical trailer, still gallery, and radio spots. So not a whole lot in features here. Again, this is an early release. It doesn't say, oh, 2013. I mean, this is release number seven, so this is a very, very early release, and I think Pigs was a, yeah, Pigs is 109. It doesn't seem right. No, this is release number nine on the film itself, uh, 109 for the slip on Pigs. So these are low down there on the uh, release numbers. Get this thing opened up here. I'm running out of things to talk about. So I hope you guys are uh, having a good time watching this video. If you're still sticking around, appreciate it. Thank you. Uh, we're at 24 minutes and some seconds. 
Uh, there is absolutely no inside artwork on this. So pretty plain Jane. Again, this is their seventh release they did back in 2013. So, you know, just getting started. Uh, it doesn't even say if it's been, you know, what the uh, transfer is or anything. So hopefully it looks good. Um, 71 Rosebud. But at least it's in a clear case because they weren't doing clear cases at that time. Um, so that's cool. Uh, I didn't have to, you know, purchase another one for it. So that was a pretty short uh, unboxing on that one. So you got Roger C. Carmel, Norman Rose, Jill Clayberg, uh, with Barry Morse and Harpoon. Also, and introducing Sarah Kennedy. Uh, if you guys haven't checked out the trailer to Telephone Book, I recommend you do so because this movie just looks fucking crazy. I, I don't know how else to say it. Again, release number seven. It's kind of weird that they stuck with the same release as this, but on Pigs, the slip and the movie's a different number. I... Kind of weird. All right, we're going to see if Luther, bleh, Luther the Geek is that way too. Kind of curious. So yeah, this is the same on here too. They are both release number uh, 100. I know it's hard to see. I love how even the vinegar, vinegar syndrome girl shines. That's awesome. And the amount of detail is just nuts. I thought this was an older release than that for some reason. Um, maybe because I'm thinking I, I had the 88 release so long ago that they released this in... Uh, this came out in 1988 from Albright Platt Films. Uh, this was a trauma release as well. Uh, 2016 is when Vinegar Syndrome released it, so I guess it wouldn't be that low of a number if they've been around since 2013. I think they started in, if I remember right, they started in like 2012. Um, so they've come a long way in you know a short amount of time. Uh, you do have reverse art on here. Actually, the inside art is what I remember from the 88 release. I'm not. I'm not going to compare. I don't think. Um, I don't know. I feel like maybe you guys want me to compare this and the 88 release. And if I don't, you might ask me to. Uh, to stare at the side of my neck for a while. See if how easily I can grab them. Okay, there is Luther. Here. Luther the Geek. Alright. And uh, what else was it? Pigs? Pigs is not a slasher classic. It is a... Um, I believe it is a vault release from them. So yeah, all right. So here's pigs from them. We'll we'll go ahead and compare. Compare sizes, I guess. No, no right, we're not doing that. Uh, again, uh, can't remember if I showed it. There's the uh, discard, and I'll probably leave it that, just because I want to. Uh, because my 88 release shows this one here. So I'll leave it uh, the way they have it. Again, this is from uh, 1988. Runs 80 minutes. Uh, I mean, see they have the extras down here instead of off to the side. Uh, this stars Edward Terry, Joan Roth, uh, Stacey Heideck. Tom Mills, J. Jerome Clark, directed by Carlton J. Albright. So I'm guessing that was his own uh, production company back then, the Albright Platt Films. I don't know who Platt would be. but uh, Scanned in 2K. Um, commentary with director Carlton Albright. Video interview with actor Jerome Clark. Video introduction with Carlton Albright. Uh, all previous trauma extras are included. They're not going to tell us what those are, so... I guess you're supposed to just know which ones those were, because if you bought this, you had to have had the trauma release. It's kind of strange. Uh, reverse cover art, theatrical trailer, and subtitles. I'm getting really... All right. I need to go to bed. All right, let's see what's on the 88 release. Was um, 
See, I don't know if some of these are going to be what's included in the all previous trauma extras. So, uh, on here you had a uh, 2K transfer, uncompromised LPCM audio, optional English subtitles, bite me an interview with Stacy Heidi uh, Kydic, uh, geekdom, remembering Luther, uh, with Colin Waddell, who does all the uh, booklets for 88. Archive interviews uh, with director uh, Carlton J. Albright discussed Luther the Geek. Archival interview, interview with actor Will Albright. Uh, Luther the Geek trailer, finger looking good. Uh, the chickens, carnies, and carnage of Luther. Limited edition booklet. First cover art. So, again, I don't know um, if the features on the 88 are the previous Troma ones because it doesn't say anything about new. So I'm not really sure on this one. But, uh... That is Luther the Geek from uh, 1980. Eventually, hopefully, uh, every boutique label will release every film, every fucking, uh, every fucking, uh, ever fucking made. Yeah, so Luther the Geek, uh, shiny ass slip. Pair that, uh, I need to grab pigs out of there. Dun -dun 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 -dun. All right, so again, on here we had what? Let's see. I'll just read the 88 ones. Doesn't look like as many. Uh, new, new. Wow. New 2K scan. A trailer. Newly created English subtitles. Uh, bacon Bits. Limited edition uh, booklet notes by Colin Waddell. Calum. Uh, reversible cover art. So they look like many features on the 88 release, and there's a ton on the Vinegar Syndrome release. And this came out in 2017. And this came out in uh, 2016. So this is an older release with more features. So 88 kind of fucked that one up. Uh, I don't know if it's a rights thing. Where the... See, sometimes they don't put all their features on here, I've noticed, with 88. Once I put the disc in, there's more. And I noticed that with, like, Stream Factories as well, too. So, who knows? Um, I'd have to actually put both discs in, and I'm not doing that right now. So, yeah. Man, my throat is just itchy as shit. Alright, guys. It's been over a half an hour with you. And, uh... Again, release 109. Or, release 109. Which one did I say was different? Did I say one was different? Uh, maybe I was reading it wrong. It's going to bother me now. Uh, 100 and 100. I must have missed the one. Thinking it was release 9. So, I'm uh, so tired I can't fucking tell the difference. What is it? Telephone book. Uh, 00, 0 007, 007. Okay, they are the same. My apologies. All right. So that's it, guys. Um, again, if you guys stuck around for this whole thing, then you are a loyal fucking subscriber. Or if you haven't subscribed and you've watched me this long through this boring-ass shit here at the end, hit that subscribe button. And uh, we'll spend so much more time together in the future. All right. So I'm happy with this stack. The slips are fucking amazing. Beautiful condition. Um, love that shine to Luther. That's just... Seeing that slip in person. If you guys haven't picked that up yet, that is awesome. Alright. Thanks for watching, guys. Stay safe out there. And uh, peace, love, happiness to everybody. And my stomach's kind of growling, so I'm going to go eat and fucking go to bed. Later.